The backlash against so-called pink slime is hitting Iowa workers hard. Hy-Vee stores like this one in Cedar Rapids pulled the product from its shelves two months ago. That's after consumer complaints about the product. Some stores brought it back but labeled meat containing the product. But the damage was already done by then. The pink slime controversy prompted BPI to close its plant in Waterloo as sales for that product plummeted. Governor Terry Branstad was in Waterloo today pledging support to those now unemployed workers. Brian Scott is there with tonight's top story. Brian. Yeah, the governor met with folks here at Hawkeye Community College several hours ago earlier in the day. He continues to stand by that product, lean, finely textured beef. But today was more about standing by the workers who got caught up in this controversy. I'm proud to stand with you today. Hundreds of individuals united by the same situation. Laid off thanks to bad PR, now unemployed. I had to find a job or win the lottery, just keep up with my health share. Some days you wonder if you're going to get out of bed the next day to go find another job. BPI's owners feeling just as lost these days. Their business went from thriving to life support virtually overnight, and they're left with little to offer their former workers. And you have a lot of talent and you have a lot of heart and um, we will do whatever we can to help you. Governor Branstad. Now Iowa's leaders are stepping up for those workers. People they say got a raw deal. And it's even harder to know that this is done because of unfounded concerns over the safety of the meat product. The governor's working with legislators, local colleges, and other employers to help the affected find new work. He also says the state's received a $23,000 federal grant to help retrain them. We can do resume workshops. We can do mock interviews um, with this grant. We will hold classes specifically dedicated to BPI workers. And it's just wonderful to know that this meeting has provided, I believe, hope, hope and, and um, a, a positive outlook for many of the folks here. Now, a lot of folks in the room today saying they're not overly concerned about these BPI, BPI employees. They think they're actually going to have a pretty easy time finding work. A lot of them, they say, are very skilled, possess a lot of the skills that uh, many of these craft jobs are looking for right now. And several employers who are in the room today even pledging to employ as many of those workers as they can as soon as possible. In Waterloo tonight, Brian Scott, CBS 2 News.